whatever, whatever. 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 Whatever is a pretty powerful word. And it would have to be. Because to really understand why you would use that word is to understand that it is a replacement word. It is never really when you mean it. You're actually just masking. And any word whose sole function is being used to conceal a truth where more words are required must have some power, or at least have some capacity for you to invest your power into it. Um, I am also a culprit and victim to the word whatever. Um, it just smacks of sarcasm in my mind that you sometimes feel um, when you're just fucking over it and you're just done and, you know, done with that person, done with humans and done with the shit and whatever. It's quite a, um, an exhaustive existential word when it's um, either set in caps or had a sigh added to it. See what I mean? It's a pretty potent word, you know? Like, it really is a replacement word. There really is no substance in it whatsoever. It is, um, it is extremely hollow and two-dimensional. And I guess our, uh, our ease of use of it, and even our overuse of it, <laughs> and of the words that are essentially saying the same thing, um, is a highlight when you look at it. Because, as I said, it, it doesn't mean anything. It is effectively a red flag. <laughs> the word whatever is a red flag. And not a red flag, but just a flag that the word is um is really just the tip of the iceberg and that there is an iceberg beneath it um and that whatever is just the one word tip to a whole lot of stuff that you cannot see that is not being presented to you that is entirely there and that can be a bit dangerous you know because it is just essentially denial um wrapped in a reasonably contemporary cool <laughs> way of um delivering it and Whatever's a little bit cool, complacency is a bit cool, not giving a fuck is fucking way cool, you know, that's white hot and cool. Um, not giving a fuck's been around for quite some time. <laughs> um, it certainly hits peaks in certain circles and hits all-time highs at different times and it's a dangerous phenomenon, you know. And whole, um, whole families, whole homes can just come to that whatever conclusion, you know, when a family's just fucking had a gut for themselves and they've just had enough and everyone's just given up. Um, the stalemate is long gone and, yep, yeah, whatever, fucking whatever. But see, that's one example. Like, it's not whatever. <laughs> no one is really believing that that is a whatever. Um, everyone in that family is fucking angry and hurt and needing to be heard and needing to feel and be felt and so forth. Like, so it just keeps going. Like, there is no whatever. And that is obvious. Um, when you want to really see the truth and not just... Um, be driven by face value because it is a lot easier sometimes to go with people's whatever. Um, the reason why we say it is because sometimes the thousands of words that we deeply need to say to another human being, um, it just takes so long to get out, so long to articulate it. There's such a risk in our heart about speaking it and hearing our truth heard and not having us mocked and like, it all just gets overwhelming. Like, it's so much easier to use that word, <laughs> you know. But, but that is not the truth. And there's not really a, um, a more potent masking word around. And if you look at it like that, like, it's really dangerous. Um, and I don't mean dangerous to other people, although it is inherently that you are not being authentic <laughs> uh, in your relating to others and in your relating to the world because you are being inauthentic, you are placing a mask or some sort of presentation 
between you and your experience as you see it. Um, and anything between you, any bridge that you build between you and your experience is going to inhibit or stop you from fully experiencing that person or experience because nothing needs a bridge. Like you don't need to put anything between it. Um, and so whether it's a good or a bad one, like it doesn't matter. Like you are diluting life <laughs> um, by putting some sort of an armor mask, anything between you and it fully. And so whatever is, is that mask, it just says, you know, like back in five minutes, out of action, out of order for now, whatever. And so it stalemates and it's not true. And whatever on a cultural level, whatever on a national level, let alone a global level, some dangerous shit, man. Like it's dangerous shit when um, people start behaving according to whatever, because you know that whatever isn't true, whatever is a 1% concealment of 99%. And at a national level, if people are at the stage of behaving in a way of whatever, whoa, like, you know, what is cooking under that surface? <sighs> and so we bring it back to our own selves and our own heart and how we, um, how we feel about the word whatever. And do we say it a lot? <clears throat> do, we, um, do we feel it? Does it annoy us <laughs> when other people say it? Because it just means they're complacent and lazy and whatever. I think, um, I really think by virtue of us just being in this space, you know, it is, uh, it is inherently exhausting. It is inherently tiring and, um, in energy zapping, or at least it appears energy draining because nothing in our life or in our world, by virtue of what it is, um, holds itself. Everything must be manually maintained and, um, and maintained to survive like nothing lasts forever not just the quality of what it is like your entire life is is set on manual and it's all just balls in the air um, of course you're going to get exhausted when you look at it like that <laughs> um, and so what do you do what do you do with your whatever um, because I mean the word is one thing and the implication that there is so much more going on uh, is certainly another but Okay, so what? Let's just say everyone's walking around with a big fucking complacent look on their faces, cooking like a, a furnace behind. Okay, but you know embedded in that is not okay. Um, no one will just get on with it. Um, as icebergs, ships in the night, like we, someone's going to crash. And pretty soon there is just going to be a zillion car pile up. You know that that is the case. And you can feel it from the depths of yourself to your home, to your community, to your country, to your world. And so it's, it's dangerous from that sense um, in the way that we conceal it to ourselves. Because first and foremost, we hurt ourselves by virtue of um, almost defending that word. Because we just get so used to it <laughs> and so tired at the idea of having to do something to... Uh, you know, unveil the rest of the iceberg to the rest of the world. It's just easier to sit still and bob because you're tired. <sighs> do you know what you do in the idea of complacency and the idea of exhaustion and all of these words, disassociation, um, having given up, just thrown in the towel, just tuning out, all of those words are whatever, like, there's lots of different words and phrases. Like, where does it sit? I think it sits for everybody. I don't think anyone really doesn't have a, a whatever going on or doesn't buy into the experience of the whatever at some point. And I guess all my point is, is that um, it's something worthy of being alert to. That's not bad. Like, there is no bad, but the results that are produced from our apparent position of whatever to each other and to the world is not always making us happy. And if you look a whatever right in the eye, you will see that they do not genuinely, peacefully mean whatever 
I do not mind. All is well with the world. You will never hear whatever stated that finishes the sentence that way in the background. <laughs> it is always done in the negative and with sarcasm. And so it is simply a flag. It is simply an alert and something for us to be aware of in ourselves and in other people. Um, look out for the whatever behaviours in others. Um, it's a flag. It's, it's an attention call and a positive one, one that requires your support and a bit of love as well as for yourself. When you feel for yourself, you are in whatever mode. Um, it is only an alert. It is only a flag. Uh, there is no need for you to beat yourself up about feeling whatever because you should be more motivated. There is no need for you to get down on yourself even further or to agree to the pattern of whatever even further. Um, because it is your pattern, it is a collective pattern, but we are um, really just doing this to ourselves. And so if things are hard for you, or you really have thrown in the, uh, the proverbial towel or whatever, then, um, yeah, really just kind of sit with the core of that and what it is that's pushing that button for you because it's not meant to be like that. And we know what the experience is like and we all share it, but it's not meant to be like that, you know? Anyway, whatever.